What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey Pipes, with Peter. Man, Peter bat a thousand at the last service call. Identified every single bo boiler component with 100% accuracy, plus identified one fitting. Well, he pop quizzed them on and got that right too. That was that one inch sweat copper uh, uh, 90. Very, very nice. Good stuff, Peter. Pat yourself in the back. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading over to Little Neck, uh, Queens. Uh, and uh, fortunately, we're able to take our little Mercedes Metris and take on the parkways to get there. And Waze did say it was around 30 minutes to get there on the uh, you know side streets or 17 minutes on the parkways. And that's how we're going there right now. So we have a ream water heater that's not producing enough hot water. It's a relatively new install. The lady said about a month old. And we're being dispatched as a third party representative for ream manufacturing. We're an authorized service provider for their products in the metropolitan New York City, Long Island area. So let's go see what's going on over there. Let's make sure that the water heater is installed properly and to current code. And let's see if we can get them some uh, restoration of hot water. Hi. We're here for the water heater? Yes. Okay, thank you. You're running out of hot water? Yeah, uh, what happens is what we can't shower at the same time because the water changes. The temperature or the pressure? The temperature. After how quickly of the time? Right away. Is that the frame TV? No. No. <laughs> that looks like the frame TV. <laughs> okay, uh, and it happens all consistently? Yes. Okay, where's the water here? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Straight ahead, okay, very good. everything is proper with that all right uh how old is this uh january 19th so then i've been a month old okay so if okay so let's you're running out of hot water after how quickly a period of time right away like um but if let's say one person if my a husband shower. is showering it's fine okay as long as i don't wash dishes as long as i don't shower okay Let's turn on the water. Let's see if we can duplicate the problem. Okay. And then uh, I want to see if this valve does anything. Okay. Because it sounds like it's a temperature control issue. Okay. Let's see. Right, so. Complaint is that one person's taking a shower, plenty of hot water. And if, why is this hot, by the way? It's very hot. Why is that so hot? That's hot too. No, it's cold up there. Maybe there's some heat radiating up. Interesting. Why is there one piece of insulation there? I don't know, but... So she's going to turn the, the hot water on, and we're going to see if we run it out. There's two possible explanations here. Mm -hmm. I think it's the, my first gut feeling, uh, which is defective gas valve, which also controls temperature. Mm -hmm. um, but it also could be a dip tube issue. The dip tube is uh, on the cold water. It could be on the hot water, but generally it's a plastic tube that runs along the inside of the water heater. I don't know if you saw the, the cutaway water heater that we have. It goes all the way down there. All right, so that's now cold. And this is hot. And we're going to monitor this. Hear that sound? Mm -hmm. Okay, I turned on. Yeah, why it was closed... I don't know. Not that it's make a difference. If anything, you'll deplete water even faster now. It's hot, right? It's scorching. scorching hot, right? So what he said was that when he's in the shower, mm -hmm. the it'll get hot. If you say hot, they get really, really cold, mm -hmm. and it goes back to hot, correct? Yes. Okay. The only thing that we did so far was fully open the valve. Which was like that. It was making that noise before. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it wasn't making that noise. Well, it was like that. It was. Mm -hmm. 
So there was the problem. The isolation valve, which is not a ball valve, but a globe valve or a gate valve, was almost fully closed. You can hear that in the swishing sounds as the water is trying to pass through the almost fully closed valve. One of the benefits of having a ball valve is you can quickly identify if it's open or closed. But in this case, we had a pressure balancing shower that really wasn't getting uh, the right amount of water volume to it. So when someone else used hot water, um, pressure balancing took into effect and really did what it can do. And the water got cold, water got back hot when the water was turned off, but no problem with the water. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfect example of situational awareness and a great technician, or even a good technician, is observant of his or her surroundings. Audibly heard, what's going on with this valve? Why does it sound like it's almost closed? And sure enough, it was, and look at that. Asking questions, solving the problem, making the customer happy, and getting paid. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.